Hello there. How you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Good, good, good. Good. So? Are you are you hooked up? Do I'm we all, have audio? Yeah, I'm all hooked up. I was going to try and uh, maybe hook up the video too, but I didn't have a chance. <laughs> no. Make the, maybe we could try some of that tomorrow. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah, I got the table yeah. all set up. Um, I got a little clip video I might uh, send you later just to show okay. you what I did last night. So. Yeah, I actually wouldn't mind seeing what it take. Yeah. So I spent, uh, so the listeners know what I was doing today, I spent my uh, lunch break today building the game we're going to play with our special guests tomorrow. Like a, not like a board game. Well, no, no. We're playing a game of Versus, but mm. a different game of Versus. Oh, a different game I, of Versus. Like a different, I don't, like a twist? <laughs> yeah, it'll definitely be a twist. Uh, I don't want to spoil it on this show. I want it to be a surprise. Right. But let's just say I spent an hour on it. I didn't even finish, but I'm close. But it's going to be uh, based on what James Beaver gave us before. Um, it would be a gauntlet style versus game. Okay, so a bit of a spinoff. Yeah, it'll be a, it'll be something versus something else, and then the winner of that goes to the next round. Mm-hmm. And it won't be us as the winners. It'll be the topics being selected. Interesting. But we talked about it in our uh, in our messenger uh, chat back and forth. Okay. Like just you, me, and Corey. So there, there's your hint. Right. I can tell you off there, but <laughs> it's, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be, and I particularly pick stuff that's going to make it laugh. So. Sweet. Yep. Sweet. Hopefully make our guests laugh as well. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. No, nothing wrong with that at all. Exactly. It's really freaking slippery outside here, Todd. Yeah, it's been, uh, last couple of days have been kind of pretty slippery, so... Went, I keep uh, over my traction control and kind of riding around quite a bit. Yeah. Well, last night I well I went jamming last night and um, I had to have it in four wheel drive for most of the areas because yeah you, you pretty much slip through. There's some places where it doesn't matter. It's always slippery. Yeah. Usually one spot. There's one spot in South Saint Vitale at the stop sign. There's one particular one. It's as soon as, it gets, as soon as it gets cold out. You just slide right through it. <laughs> Which one is it? I'm, I'm curious. Um, it's on John Forsyth somewhere. Oh. It's uh, one of the stop signs. John Forsyth at Ward, probably. Further. E, no. Oh, I can't remember the actual corner. Or John Forsyth at Paddington, perhaps. That'd be a bad one. Yeah, it's, of course, everyone listening to the show has no idea what we're talking about. <laughs> yeah, it's a, little, Google Maps. it's a little further <laughs> south, but yeah. 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 Uh, yeah I drove yesterday. To, I, I was 80 kilometers all the way home on the, on the highway. Oh, really? Perimeter? Yeah. Yeah, and then uh, there was a point that was 60 kilometers an hour. So it was pretty damn slow. Jeez. Well, hey, what's going on? I'm driving by CN, and there are no strikers. What's going on? There's no striking? Oh, no, wait. Hey, hey, there's strikers up ahead. So there's a big strike going on at CN right now. Yeah, I heard. It. Oh, yeah, here they are. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of messing up traffic a little bit. Yeah. No, I'm not honking. You guys won't get a honk. I'm not honking. I'm sorry. <laughs> honk, get out of the way. <laughs> Don't let me get started about my union stories. Oh, yeah. But I do agree with what the CN, what CN's trying to pull is kind of typical of a corporation without, you know, thinking things through, just looking at your numbers, making decisions based on numbers. They have a habit of doing that. Uh, it's like so. any place, whether even healthcare, it doesn't matter where you go. Everyone, it, everything yeah. looks good on paper, but once you, you know, Start so changing. Wait to exactly what's happening here at your at your hospital, where they cut jobs, but then they make everybody work overtime. Yeah, everyone that's left work overtime because that is cheaper than having the right number of employees. 
Well, you know, you don't have to pay, you know, the extra person, all these extra people, their vacation and retirement benefits and, and, you know, the whole deal. So they're saving so much money per person. If they just get one person or overtime, even at double time, they're still probably saving money. So uh, I don't know. They yeah, is, but they're it, the thing they don't look at, which has been studied and our talk about Sweden and Switzerland and all those countries where uh, people that work a 30 hour a week are more productive than people that work a 40 hour a week. Oh, I can see so that. If you're working someone time and if you're working somebody 60 hours and you lose efficiency over 30 hours a week, and you're working 60, you're only getting half production out of that person because they're tired, they're exhausted mentally, physically. So on paper, it looks like you're saving money, but at the end, you're getting less done. That's, that's my take on that. Yeah, well, I mean, and there's the other way around too, where some people want like a 12 hour workday so they can have like a four day, four day week, so they can have like a three day weekend. Yeah. So I mean, it, it kind of goes both ways. You don't, you don't really see that very much, uh, the four day work week that I'm aware of, unless I think the, I think the government employees that they had Mondays off or something. It was something. Yeah, I don't I know. I think if, they're getting a four day work week and they're working seven hours a day for four days. Yeah, I don't know. How that <laughs> the works. modified government. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I stressed out. I had to work eight hours today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Here's your trophy. You're not going to get any pro government stance on this show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, so the the stuff I want to talk about. So I, I'm, I'm very worried about this. Uh, my followers on Twitter. I actually got a whole slew of uh, messages. Uh-huh. Uh, from my followers on Twitter asking me to talk about this. Like, they wanted me to answer them directly. Like, what do you mean? What's going on? Like, if I do this, is it going to be better? Like, you know, what am I supposed to do to protect myself? So this COPPA thing, did you look into this at all? What's this? C-O-P-P-A. C-O-P-T-A? C-O-P-P. So, uh, like, Pippi Long, <laughs> Pippi Long talking. No. Uh, Charles, Oswald, Peter, Peter, uh, Andrew. So and uh, let me explain. They're asking you about this? Well, because I posted something on my Twitter because I, I saw a couple of videos. Well, I saw several videos yesterday over the last couple of days. Oh, and that... I'm kind of worried. Okay, so this is the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act. Yeah, of, that's exactly. Of 1998. <laughs> yes. Yep. So people are asking about it now? Well, let me tell you. So this is now, I watched a bunch of stuff, and this is my abridged version of everything that I watched. Right. And everything I read. And I, in no way, I, I, here's the disclaimer, in no way am I saying this is exactly how it is, but this is my interpretation of it. And I challenge people to message me on Twitter or on Instagram or wherever to, to tell me I'm wrong on any of these, because I hope the hell I am wrong on all of them. So this is how I understand it. So that thing in 1998 that was put into place right. was to prevent companies from using cookies on their, cha- on their websites or whatever, to prevent websites from taking information from children. Oh, if a children's viewing habits are, they're always going to this site, that site, they're always clicking on Beanie Babies or Cabbage Patch or PJ Masks or whatever. Uh, it's, cookies are tracking their viewing history. Correct. So it is against the law. This is my understanding. It is against the law to track information like this from children under 13 years old or 12 years old. I can't remember exactly what it is. 13. 13 yeah. or yeah, thirteen. Yeah, that's what it's saying. I, so it's, I just I have it up here now. Oh, you have it up. So yeah. it's illegal to track that information and sell it. Yeah, well, a, they're not stopping it from adults because I mean, you could just talk about something uh, at some point and you open up your Facebook and all of a sudden, oh, look. Yeah. Uh, for yeah, it's it's legal to do it with adults. Like there hasn't been there's nothing that's been put in place against adults. No kidding. So so companies <laughs> like like YouTube specifically, because this is what this involves. YouTube makes 
its money is in advertising dollars. So someone goes to YouTube and says, hey, you have a way of tracking people's behaviors online. So when people are watching YouTube videos, right? Right. You know, the YouTube video is tagged this, that, something else. So that means they're going to be interested in advertising that focuses on all those hashtags or what you looked up specifically. Right. So it's it, it, using a cookie to track what you listen to or watch. So then they take that data from you and they sell it to advertisers. They, so the advertisers will pay them money for advertising to make sure those ads pop up on someone's viewing history. That's how they make their money. That's how YouTube, and not just YouTube, but we're talking YouTube in particular. Now, it is against the law to do that action in regards to children. Got me so far? Well, okay. Do you want me to read you the rule summary? Yes. Okay. Actually, I would. So it says, COPPA imposes certain requirements, and COPPA, I guess, is the Children's Online Privacy Protection Rule. Uh, it says, uh, imposes certain requirements on operators of websites or online services directly or directed to children under 13 years of age and on operators of other websites or online services that have actual knowledge that they are collecting personal information online from a child under 13 years of age. That's the outline of the privacy, the rule summary. That's the summary. Okay. Of the rule. Okay, yeah, so that, so that does line up with what I thought. Okay, so that's it. So I'm on the right page. Right, exactly. Now, okay, so this so this is what happened. So this has been since 1998, is that right? 98, yeah. That's the act of, so, yeah, the Privacy yeah. Uh, Protection Act of 1998. Now, YouTube has always flagrantly, that's how it was, you know, explained to me, flagrantly have always said, no, 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 we're not doing that. But we are, and a large, the, the, the largest, I don't know if it's the largest, but I would guesstimate it is a large part, a large segment of their advertising is geared towards children and their viewing habits. Because let's be honest, as much as we like to go down the YouTube uh, rabbit hole, yeah. children go down it far deeper than we ever could. Right. My own children, you know, for that matter. So a lot of people have, uh, taking advantage of that to post videos geared for kids. Uh, you know, they have videos geared for kids, so they you know they're reviewing kids' toys. Mm -hmm. They're you know they're running little like uh, kind of puppet theater with toys. Right. You know, Anna and Elsa and, and stuff like that that, that children watch. Yeah. Now they're generally operated by you know young adults, not young adults, I guess, young. By young adults, I mean, you know, adults in their 20s or 30s. And, they're, you know, it's kind of like a daycare thing where they're entertaining children. Right. Now, they get massive ad revenue for that because those are the videos that are the most viewed online, I believe, on, like on YouTube. Well, the whole, so, the whole idea of making money on YouTube is to get uh, people to watch your videos, right? Sure, exactly. Yeah, so, that's the whole idea. Yeah. So if you're, if, you, if you're posting children's content, and I'm not, and this isn't bad content. I'm not going down that at all. This is, look, I, I'm, I'm reviewing toys for kids, and kids are going to watch this, and parents are going to watch this too to see if this toy is worth buying. Is it breakable? Is it bendable? Like, is it, is it good quality? So I, I, the, I'm not saying these are bad videos. They're not, definitely not saying that at all. Well, I mean, you did that with your own par reviews with, with, um, with, exactly. with, with the action figures and stuff. So. And it was, and I mean, it was fun for us, but it was providing a service and, mm -hmm. you know, you can get paid to right. do it. Mm -hmm. The kids' videos offer the most amount of views of just about anything. So there's huge revenue there. There's that kid, Ryan. I don't know if you've heard of him. He's got a channel, or his parents have a channel. Mm -hmm. And what they do is, you know, they post videos of Ryan playing with the toys. And Ryan's popularity on YouTube is so huge that there's now a line of Ryan toys. Oh my god! So this guy's a YouTube, uh, YouTube, you know, so giant. He, so he's been thrust into the limelight, whether he liked it or not. Yeah, but you know, I, I, I I've watched a lot of the Ryan videos because I have two young, you know, two young kids. Right. And there's nothing bad in them. Like, like they're buying him toys, and he gets sponsorship deals and stuff. So, you know, he's given toys to play with, mm -hmm. and you know, it doesn't look. There's nothing there that looks bad. I know there's like the child labor laws and stuff. The 
the kids playing with toys and they're videotaping it. it there's, there's nothing bad there. Like if you're getting ten cents a day. Some people, <laughs> yeah, some people might disagree, but I don't see anything wrong with these. And they're, you know, they're not lowest common stuff denominator stuff at all. It's, it's good quality reviews. And if, to be honest, if if I wanted to see what a toy looks like unwrapped and 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 see it in action to see if it's worth buying for for my kids. I might watch one of these live videos. Mm -hmm. So I'm not saying there's anything bad along that. But, you know, the parents of this kid, they make a living now doing it because it's really popular. And they do put a lot of effort into the videos. And there's lots of people that do. So, you know, there's lots of Lego channel where people are building stuff and showing you how to build stuff. Mm -hmm. So it, it, I don't see anything wrong with this at all. Maybe, you know, maybe I'm naive or whatever, but that's not what this is about. But this is what YouTube has made it about. So, so for the last, so people have taken advantage of the fact that YouTube is not um, following the law. Mm -hmm. They ignored the act, and they're doing whatever they want to do to make money, and flagrantly done it. And people are like, okay, well, hey, I can make money doing these videos. I enjoy making the videos. Oh, I can get paid to do it too. Okay, you know, nothing wrong with that. It's the, the rule clearly states that YouTube and websites like that are not supposed to be doing this. Right. That's the law. So after 20 years, or more than 20 years, 21 years, finally, the, you know, the government went after YouTube, said, look, you're, you're breaking the law regularly to the tunes of hundreds of millions of dollars. Mm -hmm. Stop. So they came to an agreement in court. I think they uh, YouTube had to pay 175 million dollars. Wow, that was the, that was the fine. Mm -hmm. With with the agreement, so that they get off lightly. So they pay 175 million dollars, which is nothing to them. Right. Um, which they should have been fined way more, but they worked the deal because when you're a big corporation, you can make deals. And they made a deal, said, look, so no criminal time, no nothing, you know, they're not paying the full fee. As long as they are able to turn their service around right. and not do it anymore. So that was the agreement. That was the, the court settlement. So that's why they've changed their policy. Well, yeah, be so far? I mean, Facebook has, has pretty much done the same thing. Oh, Facebook's just as guilty. Yeah. Probably actually more guilty. I mean, they can they can go. Oh, really? Well, I mean, hey, you're you're in charge of day and day operations and and how things work. I mean, it's not just like you know, uh, here I'll just gonna show up and put my feet up. It's uh, I don't think Zuckerberg is that type of person. Yeah. So here, so here's what YouTube uh, part so part of their agreement with the uh, their settlement with the government mm -hmm. is that they have to make sure that they, their content is broken down. So it's either kid-friendly or it's not kid-friendly. So they're not blocking people from posting videos at all. That's not what they're doing. Right. They're saying if this is kid's content, you need to list it as kid's content and you are no longer going to be paid for it. No ads will play during your videos. Oh, okay. So, therefore, so you will not be paid. Okay, so all kid videos, uh, what are, so if you have a bunch of YouTube videos that you have and you have them segregated in different categories, the ones for the kids, you don't get paid for. Is that is yeah. that correct to say? That's exactly correct. They did not have this before. This, they just enacted it, I think, this week. So I just changed my settings this week. Okay, so, so, so what you did see it. Go ahead. No, so you did see it because I because I remember because every time I, I go to YouTube it asks me to download this new whatever so I I don't do that, but I did read somewhere where and I think we had, we discussed this before that yeah they've got like three different tiers they've got one that's more for uh, more for grown ups type content and then there's the yep. one that's kind of like family because so it doesn't matter if it's kids or, or adults type of thing and then there's one that's just strictly for kids. That's what that downloads for because if you're using your phone, you, you're using YouTube as an app, right? And uh, and you're going to upload videos. That's what that change is for. Was to turn on those buttons. 
Now, now is it similar to say Netflix, for example? Because Netflix has one for kids, right? They've got a channel. Yeah. Because when yeah. I when I log in, I've got you know I've got mine. I've got you know a couple different uh, profiles, and then there's one uh, for kids. I guess they, they must have popped it in there on their own, but they've uh, they they have kind of segregated it. So so I, I think that's what they're they're trying to do is they're, they're just trying to regulate what they can and however they can to you know protect the kids so that you know because I mean you could you could search something very innocently. And end up with something that you know you don't want your kids watching. So that's exactly yeah. I think that so I don't have I don't have a problem with the Cop Act at all. Right. I I think it, you know it makes sense. Like you know we got to protect our kids. Like mm-hmm. it. The fact that people made money in the interim while these these large internet companies where we're getting away with it. Mm-hmm. I mean I, I, I don't know, I'm not going to lay blame here or there on it, but. So here's, but here's what YouTube is doing is they're saying, look, we're no longer, we as a company, YouTube are no longer responsible for uh, how these videos are tagged Mm -hmm. as kid friendly or not kid friendly. We are not responsible. You as a YouTuber, as someone who uploads videos on our channel, you are 100% liable. We're not liable anymore. So, All the liability falls on the uploader. Okay, so they've just taken responsibility and said, we're not responsible anymore. How can we do it? Yeah. Okay, well, let's do this, and they then you guys are no devoid way of, of... Con- They said we have no way of controlling our content, is what they're saying. Okay, but Which who's... is bullshit, because that's how their cookies work. That's how their advertising was targeted, because they know how to monitor the videos. They know how to control the videos. Hey, we get that cease and desist from YouTube. Right. Within minutes, not even minutes. <laughs> must have an algorithm we when they told, hear a song and they go, wait a minute, that's exactly. copyright. They have algorithms. <laughs> but, I, so, but I mean, I've, I watch anyway, videos. They're saying they don't have control. They say they have no way of controlling any of that content. Well, they've got algorithms or something. Because I've, I've, I've watched, like, um, I don't know if they still do it now or not, but, you know, if you want to watch, listen to something Led Zeppelin, they're like, you could not find any of it on YouTube. But yeah. Every once in a while, you'd find a song and go, doesn't this sound like it's a little fast or a little slow? Yeah. So I don't know yeah. if they, that's, that's how they kind of got around with it. They just kind of changed the, the, the speed of the song so that they couldn't match it up out, outright. Yeah, I mean, the way it works is if you, if you decide to post uh, uh, the, the Led Zeppelin album, the Led Zeppelin is the one that gets seen every time it's played, not you, not your channel. Right. That's the way it's set up. Right. That's how the algorithms work. But now they're suddenly saying they don't have the ability to do that. They they can't police the content. Uh, they don't have the algorithm. They don't have a way of protecting the children. So it's up to us to do it. They've got no more money than they know what to do with. I'm sure they've been doing research and stuff in the background. I mean, they're 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 getting as as uh, two faced as uh, as well as the government. They say one thing and do something wholly different. So. Yeah. So, so here's, so here's the trick of all this. And here's the part that I'm like, okay, well, I'll just, you know, Mark, because all of our podcasts are uploaded to YouTube. Right. That's, you know, it's an automatic thing that I have set up because I'm trying to hit, you know, I want our show to hit as much meat, you know, as many different avenues as possible mm-hmm. to get the show out there to make it available. And every, it's always been tagged as, you know, not for kids because I mean, you do swear on here, right? but so the, the trick of all this is that you need to tag your video as not for children or for children or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. I can't see around the guy. Now, do uh, they now do they preview these? You know, you know when you um, say you belong to a forum or something, and then you or you want to register with whatever, uh, yeah. they'll say you know we'll send you an email to confirm or or whatever. Yeah. Now, yep. do they do that with the videos? Okay, so you post a video, and now all of a sudden, now it's in the kids section. Do do they have people reviewing them? They, well, they have algorithms looking for specific, like they're. You, you they can't. deny that they have this, but yeah, I mean, like the, the fact that you and I played stuff in our video, right? That wasn't played for more than ten seconds. Mm-hmm. There's background talking going on over the music. They were able to identify within seconds 
mm-hmm. of this being posted, oh, yeah. exactly what it was, who it belonged to, and which um, which publishing company, like which label the music belonged to, right. who wrote the songs, mm-hmm. like everything. Like there was no stone left in turn. And that was within seconds. Right. So, you know what? I, I think there's 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 more surveillance. I, I've watched, I was at YouTube, or not YouTube, sorry, Netflix and whatnot, and just kind of showing Big Brother and, and, and how they're kind of filtering through your information and stuff because it goes through some type of a bunker where they kind of analyze. If you if you gave out specific key, um, key words that they yeah. deemed as threatening... Uh, they would pop up, and then all of a sudden your IP's tracked. They figure out who you are, then they research you to death. I mean, yep. I, don't, I don't know how they, because there's a lot of times where you hear about, oh, they, you know, they were able to uh, prevent this from happening or that from happening. Like just what, like out of thin air? Like how do you do that? You obviously yeah. must have been looking at certain people and tracking them in whatever oh, yeah. means. They this, track. Whatever sure, way they, they track can do certain it. people all the time. Yeah. Like there's always, everything's tracked. This conversation right now is tracked. Oh, for sure. If, if we threw in a few keywords that uh, that they deemed as threatening, uh, we would probably be on their radar also. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So okay. So here's the trick of this whole thing. So I'm like, okay, I'll just you know I'll say it's adult. We're fine. Okay. Don't worry about you know. But that's not enough. If there is a chance that. I'm just going to turn my alarm off here. <laughs> Protect myself from the government. Um, if there is a chance that your video could be, um, it could be misconstrued as being for kids, but you marked it as adult, right? As an adult video, adult only video, right? You've broken the law. Hold it. So, for example, hold it, hold so it, you and it. I. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, so you're saying you've, you've got a kid's video that would normally go in the kid's section, and you've marked it. No, no, it. no, no, no. You have an adult video. Oh, okay. It could be you. misconstrued okay. as a kid's video. Right. Okay. I, th- so, I thought it was the reverse. I was like, okay. Go ahead. No, no. So, basically, so, uh, for example, I did a, a review of Netflix Daredevil, right? Okay. Now, that is an, it's a Netflix show. It's mm-hmm. rated R. It's not meant for kids in any way, shape, or form. Right. Right? But there is a Daredevil comic book. And there's versions of the Daredevil comic that can be read by kids. Right? right. So by extension, because I mentioned Daredevil and because I mentioned Marvel Comics in that review, even though it's marked as adult, and I swear, I fucking swear in it. Right. It could be misconstrued as for kids. And therefore, I, list, I posted my video and listed it incorrectly. I said it's for adults, but it's enough of a stretch to say it's for kids. Well, yeah, but if you've posted it with adult for adults, then you've you've already hit the safety, right? You're not worried about the kids seeing it because you've already marked. That's it what as I'm adult. saying. It doesn't matter. That's what I'm. That's what I'm concerned about. And that's what I want someone to correct me on. I I, I don't the think the fact that I talked about something that might be kid related. Right. That's enough to. To say that it's for kids. And because of that, someone might find the video. And because it has Daredevil or it has Marvel Comics somewhere in the hashtag or somewhere in the description. Right. Then it is potentially viewed as for kids and I did not tag it properly. That's like saying all Disney movies are for kids. And they are not. They used to be. Yeah. But now, I mean, so that's the part I'm not clear on. And I'm wor- this is what I'm worried about. So, like kids, I mean, kids, huh. like kids PG or kids, like how, like where do you draw like, the line? Well, yeah, and that's there is no. It's the, everything I've read so far. There's no clarity in what that means because if there's it's violence, incredibly vague. Yeah. So well, it, here's what they said. So if there's a chance that your video has been flagged as not being flagged appropriately. Then you can contact your lawyer to to have the the charge against you unstru- unstruck. Okay, so 
if you don't download the app and you don't download all this other stuff and you just keep the things the way they are, status quo, you haven't you haven't changed anything, you haven't said it that's adult or family or kids or whatnot, what happens to those videos? So if I got videos of, say, the band playing, okay, yep. I don't have it flagged for either family or adult or kids, right? Yeah, yeah, Everybody can watch it. I mean, it's not a it's it's a, vi- it's a video of of yeah. the band playing. I mean, unless your yeah. unless your language is like ridiculous, then yeah, you would flag it more on the adult side, right? Yeah. So if you don't flag it at all, what happens? I don't know. Do you get a letter? Do you get a? Do they cut you off? Do they say, oh well, you can't run uh, this version of YouTube uh, no longer exists. Uh, you you need to download the new one, otherwise it won't work at all. I, I, I don't know. See, this is this is the part that I don't know. And this is why I'm like, you know, I mean, I mean, if it's music, it's probably fairly safe. Mm-hmm. But I mean, the minute the, the thing is, there's a million YouTube channels, a million podcasts that talk about toys. Right. And it's stuff like, hey, I just bought this fucking Spider-Man toy, <laughs> you know, or whatever. Or they talk about uh, what if She-Hulk had sex with Hercules. You know, yeah. it's like you're talking adult, adult stuff about, you know, adult stuff about kids toys. Right. So this is where I'm not really sure how that works. So basically they're saying, look, we're either going to pay you advertising dollars or we're not. Right. And you have to tell us if we should be paying you advertising dollars or not. And if you do it wrong, then you are entitled to a fine. Now, I can't remember what the fine is. I think it's 40 Forty-two hundred dollars per video, something like that. Wow. So imagine, so like Shane, our buddy Shane, Run Powered Reviews, right? He's reviewing toys. Mm-hmm. Now I don't know if there's been bad words in there, but there's, you know, there's been a few off-color things that were said, not meant for kids, basically. Yeah. So if he, if so, if he had 180 videos posted, right? You and you, he flags it as for adults, right. but he's reviewing toys, things that children might buy videos that children might see. Therefore, there is an ad that may play during his stuff Mm -hmm. and there is revenue being generated and there is cookies attached to that video so that when someone watches that video, it is gathering their information. But a child watched that video, so it gathered the child's cookie information. It grabbed, it created cookies based on what the child was watching on Shane's video. So now YouTube has collected data about that child. Well, it's not YouTube's fault they collected that children's data. It's your fault because you posted the video. So if he's got 180 videos like that, right, right, and it's all tagged wrong because he's reviewing toys for adults, but it doesn't matter if he's reviewing toys. Toys are for kids. They're not for adults. Not necessarily. Well, hang on. So that means he would get whatever the fine is. I, I don't know what the fine is, but we'll just say it's forty two hundred bucks per video. So that's forty two hundred bucks right. times one hundred and eighty videos. So right. how much is that? I don't know, it's a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, it's enough to basically ruin you. <clears throat> okay, so if so, if you went to Walmart, okay, and you bought lawn darts, okay, and the lawn darts say yeah. you must be either eighteen or over, or sixteen or th- whatever it is, okay, it's it's over the eight. Year, year of age. Okay, so if you did a review on it and you put it as an adult side, who the hell are they to say that, oh, well, it's a toy, so they toy, right? So now yeah. it's categories under children. That that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. You, you, I mean, you could go, you go to Costco tomorrow, go get a remote control vehicle, a remote control yeah. car that says, or, or a drone or, or whatnot, and it says 12 or over. I mean, do a review on it. They just have it as, as your adult side. That's fine. You don't have to have it on the kid side. But now they're forcing you to say, okay, well, now you have to pick. So like you were yeah. saying with the Run Power Reviews, if you're doing, if you're doing a, a review on an action figure, fine. Make two videos. Make one adult and one kid-friendly. You, you, would, you would have to distinguish it because now that's what they're asking for. Because when you're doing, it's funny. When, cause when we're doing podcasts, it's, it's, we can swear all we want, right? We can do whatever. It was like one of those. We, we, we market what it is. And then we've done our due diligence on the podcast side. Mm-hmm. Like on Patreon, for example, it's not searchable by everything. No one can find our Patreon page 
because they, you know, Patreon doesn't have the proper controls in place. But you can't search for our Patreon page. We have to tell you exactly where to find it. You can't search it because it's marked as adult content, right? Oh, okay. So, you know, Patreon did their due diligence. They said, okay, well, you're either going to say it's for adults or not. And if you've done your due diligence, then it, there's not going to be any chance of somebody finding your page that's not supposed to find your page. That's that's what they did. So when you go to Patreon, so you have to look up. YouTube is saying they have no ability to do that. Well, even though they're able to specifically target specific age groups right. with videos that are posted, they know if Ryan, this Ryan kid, is doing a video for toys that are geared three to five. They know exactly it's for three to five. They know exactly what commercials to play on his videos right. to match. The, the demographic. Hold it. They know Hold exactly it. if it's a boy or a girl. Hold it. They know exactly if it's American, Asian, uh, you know, Latino, whatever. But they're saying they can't do that anymore. But they were doing it. Okay. So, one. Hold so, it. so holding it. okay. So now you're saying YouTube is saying that if it's adult uh, content and you have it flagged that way, you can get paid. So yes, oh so, yeah, absolutely. So, so the big They're chunk okay of with that. so the big chunk of money with the uh, investors and and whatnot for YouTube, for example, saying, okay, you know what, all the stuff that's for kids, we're going to advertise, but we're not going to pay the people who are actually putting the videos up. Look at all the fucking oh. money we're going to grab. Mm -hmm. Huh? Yep. Is that what you're oh, saying? I, oh, now, I, now oh, is that the case? It, to me, that's what it feels like. Yeah. So now but it's but they're like, saying. But they're saying they're going to still have advertising. Well, I don't know. They said they're not going to have advertising for kids', kids videos. I, 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 I call bullshit on that. If, if I, don't, they, I can't see that know, happening. Kudos if that's the case. Because the last thing, I mean, as it is, uh, the attention spent, like when I'm watching a video and then, you know, partway through it, it always shows up as a freaking advertisement and you have to wait. Yeah. And if you're not rate right at, you know, if you're watching it in the, listening to it in the background, you have to listen to a commercial for a minute and a half before you get back to what it was you wanted to originally walk, unless you physically go up to your computer or whatnot and go, you know, next or, or you know, skip type of thing. Yeah. Right. So now the kids, at least, they would be able to, if that's the case. But if they're going to advertise, then then that's all out the window. So why, so why, so here, here's my question. Mm -hmm. So it's all, it's all a matter of capturing data, right? They don't want YouTube or any, or any site, anybody to capture kids information, right? right? Mm -hmm. So on TV, on, on cable, they don't capture information. They just know, look, this is a TV show. It's geared for kids three to five. So we're going to advertise toys age three to five mm -hmm. during the show. That's okay because they're not capturing information. So you can't tell me that YouTube is not going to be, look, these videos are going to be tagged a particular way. Right. So maybe we're not going to sell people's information, but we're still going to have an algorithm to find out what, who this video is, is geared for. And we're going to show advertisements because we need kids. So I can't see them removing ads hundred percent. I don't, to me, that just seems strange because it doesn't happen on TV. It doesn't happen at movie theaters. I see, you know, uh, eight, eight or 10 ads before a movie. It doesn't matter what movie I'm seeing. Yeah. For a movie, you already paid I, for I can't see them. <laughs> they rely on their advertising. I cannot see YouTube giving up the cash cow that is advertising. So, so here's, here's the, now here's the weird thing. So if they're still allowed to have commercials, mm -hmm. Interrupting the videos. They're still allowed to have commercials interrupting the videos, right. which I can't see them stopping having. They're just not allowed to gather information. So if they actually get paid for videos at some point, mm -hmm. because I don't see, like, if a YouTuber is making money off of their channel, because, hey, look, if they mark their channel as saying, look, this is geared age two to four for boys, uh, and this is in the U.S., and and the commercials pop up for exactly that on those YouTube videos. And that's how they make the revenue. That is no different than television. But if they're removing ads completely from YouTube, mm -hmm. like, isn't that kind of breaking the whole model of how you get paid in television or any sort of media? Like TV survives on advertisement. I know they're annoying. I know we like to skip them, right. but that is how they get paid. You know, the television station gets paid for every single ad spot and they use that money to buy programming to show. If they don't have that revenue stream, then what? 
they can't afford to buy any any shows to show, and they make no money. Period. So if I can't see YouTube taking this away, like it doesn't make sense. Like okay. I, I I don't like advertisements, but that is how YouTube makes its money. <laughs> okay, but so- YouTube. The problem is YouTube broke the fucking law with gathering information. No, instead of just playing fucking commercials, they broke the law. So now it's like, oh, I'm sorry we broke the law. So now we're still going to make money. I don't know how they're going to make money. I don't know how that's going to work, but they're still going to make money. I know but the people who provide the content for the channel. So basically on TV, uh, ER, Grey's Anatomy, whatever, right? Right. They're making a show uh, for ABC, and ABC is paying them money for that show. Mm-hmm. So now ABC is not allowed to pay the money for their show because we're not allowed to do that anymore. So that's the equivalent of what's happening now. So the creators that are providing the content for YouTube, because YouTube doesn't really create much of their own shit, right. they do, but that's not where that's not where the money is. No, you know, it's people like Felicia Day and and, and that you know posting videos up there like. They're the ones that bring people to YouTube. They're the ones making YouTube money. All the, you know, all the big, you know, Pew Die Pew and, or, you know, whatever, like all those people. <laughs> I know it's true. I know it's true. I know you that up. Yeah, yeah, I know you. You know, but you know, they're they're the ones that make you money. So now you're saying that you can't pay those people that bring the viewers to you that bring your revenue in, and the biggest chunk of change, I I still say, is still children's content. So why don't you work a deal? That, we, you know, it's up to the viewer to say what the content is. Be a bit more specific. Well, I think... This is for 8, 2 to 4. This is for boys. This is for girls or or whatever. The region you're in. And then if they violate, you know, if, you, if you're supposed to be tagging your, your video specifically, not generally for kids, not for kids, but more specifically, then they can still put advertising in, into those videos. And everybody can still make money yeah. because everyone's going to leave YouTube. All these people that make videos there, why would you stay somewhere? Well, like Todd, would you, if, if you went to work tomorrow and they said, look, we can't pay you anymore because there's been a change in regulation for how healthcare works, but you still need to come in every day and work. You'd say, go well, fuck yourself. Like none of us work for free. <laughs> yeah. Like that's exactly what they're saying. So so that's why I need clarification. I, I maybe I'm misunderstanding all of this. Well, YouTube. But I'm really nervous to have anything on YouTube now. YouTube has a paid membership now. Believe it or not, my I, yeah. I think I think it's been out for a while, but yeah, it's been out for a while. The premium is a paid membership that gives you an enhanced, uninterrupted experience across YouTube. So that's how they're getting yep. paid, right? YouTube Music, just like YouTube Spotify, gaming. where you don't have to listen to Drake music if you don't want to, but you still have to be subjected to Drake music. Yeah, like add free videos, <laughs> watch videos of the interruption. It's like when you're paying for Netflix, you're paying so you don't yeah. have to watch commercials. You're paying to That's watch exactly for what the shows. Yeah. Like when the news is on. I like when you buy cable, though. You, you, you pay for cable, but you still have to watch all the commercials, even though you paid for the service. You're, Way more than you would ever pay for a Netflix. You pay, but anyway, go on. Yeah, you're paying for the company. You're paying for yeah. Shaw. You're paying for MTS. You're paying for whoever you're going through. You're not paying the actual... Um, the Warner channels, Brothers, the channels that ABC you're getting, whatever, yeah. they're getting paid. You know, it, it just kind of flows down the line. But they do have a subscription cost if you want to if you want to be ad free on YouTube. So I guess they would share some of that. But they're basically saying you can't make money if you're, if you can't make money if you're making children's videos. That's my understanding of it. And, and so the guys that I saw posted, they have Lego channels. You know, they just do Lego stuff. So they're basically concerned. Look, I, I make money off this. I don't make a lot, but I make money off of this. This is additional income. I have a nine to five job, right. but I also do this on the side to help make ends meet. It's my passion. It's what I love doing. And one day I'd like to do this full time, mm-hmm. you know, quit my day job. You know, this is a part time job for some people, right? Yeah. So you're basically saying, look, I know you make money off of it, but you can't anymore because we fucked up. We got caught with our pants down. And we're going to change the rules for how we operate as a company. And you're going to pay for it. And you're going to pay for it. We ha- we are no longer liable for anything you put up. Everyone else is liable, but you can still use our servers. It's it's it doesn't make any logical business sense. It looks like they reacted to 
getting caught with their pants down because they lied all along. Right. But no, what they were doing nobody, flagrantly lied. No, nobody's in business to lose money. Whether you're an insurance company, whether you're WCB, whether you know it, it doesn't it doesn't matter. Like the, these these places are, are there to uh, protect you, but hey, um, only to a certain point. Like we're not going to be doing so that we're losing money. Yeah. So what's your thoughts? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm upset. That's my thought. I'm just upset. Uh, oh, wait, part like what are you upset about though? Well, it's like I, now. I don't, I don't want to take the chance that what I'm doing is wrong over rules and laws that are incredibly vague. Well, and when something's vague, you go to court and you fight it. But who are you fighting? You're fighting fucking YouTube. You're, I'm not going to win. There's how many, how many so, YouTube videos? Does it say how many YouTube videos are out there now? Like or how many billions, millions or uploaded trillions? Per day. Think, and and it just keeps oh, growing. Okay. Oh, I might have to cut it, cut it off here. Oh, yeah, I see the kids. Who's that, Luna? There you go. Who's that, Luna? <laughs> All right, well, we'll cut it off there. Please like, subscribe, comment, and I want to know what everyone's thoughts are on this. If someone has a better idea of how it works than I do, that's great. Okay, we'll see you, Todd. All right then. We'll All talk, right, we'll talk to you later. All right. See ya. Okay. Bye. See ya. Bye. Bye.